Hello, Hot Tips Tribe. I'm back with another tutorial. This time I'm using our Spring Fling Collection, our gel polishes, our pastel gels. This collection is so beautiful. I used the light baby, baby pink as the base coat for my press-ons. I'm just doing them on press-ons because I wanted these for myself. Let's be real here. I thought they'd be super cute for summertime just to pop on because I can never have my nails done, my acrylic nails done. So all I've done is just taken a little dot from each different color other than the pink and put it on a tile with some tin foil covering it along with some silver from our metallic, our 12 piece precision gel metallic line art set. So now I'm just going in with some Blooming Gel. I don't even know what brand this is. I've had these bottles forever. And I'm just putting on a thin, thin coat. When you're doing mar this, so when you use Blooming Gel, the marbling turns out more kind of like watercolor. It reminds me more of like watercolor painting. When you use just regular top coat to do your marbling, I find it looks more like that marble effect if that makes sense like with the blooming gel it spreads more also i didn't mix up my colors on my palette i just take a little tiny scoop of whichever colors i want to use and then just kind of brush it down the nail like in a squiggly line but you'll see like you have to give it a second because it's gonna like the bloom it takes a second to bloom you know that's what the blooming gel is for so i find it like when you're doing it this method it just looks better when you just pick up little bits of color at a time and then put it across the nail like in the design that you want it to be in but you'll see it kind of start to like bloom out these are obviously very light colors if you use brighter colors then you'd be able to see it a little bit better but i wanted a nice cute pastel -y kind of almost tie-dye looking set these look so beautiful when you're tanned these colors look so nice against your skin tone and this is like literally foolproof i mean you do not have to be an artist you don't have to be you know an experienced advanced nail artist to do this all you're doing is just picking up little tiny bits of the colors that you want and literally just making little squiggly lines across the nail in any direction you want. And then, like I said, give it a chance to bloom. That's why I painted all of the press-on nails with Blooming Gel first. I, and I had them all ready. But like I said, remember, put a very, very, like, almost not... Like, I the coat that I put over top of that was basically non-existent. And you can see how much it's spreading. So you got to work pretty fast. I mean, I was trying to work as fast as I could, but it's it's hard. You're like, you're trying to work fast, but you're also trying to make the nails look good. And like, you can always go back in, like you'll see me go back in with like, I'll pick up blue next. Like you don't necessarily have to pick up all the colors at the same time. You also want to make sure that, you know, you're not mixing the colors around too much because then they, they'll all mix together. You won't be able to see like a separation in the colors. But now can you see on the thumb how it's like blooming, blooming, you know what I mean? You kind of lose that marble effect. Maybe if you use darker colors, I'm sure you'd see it better. But it kind of like reminds me of like when you're literally using pastel paints, like watercolor paints, and you're just kind of, you know, doing a watercolor painting. It's so beautiful. You could do so much with this. I left these shiny at the end. You'll see that, but... I think if I had to put a matte top coat on these nails and then put like lots of crystals and bling on them, that would have looked beautiful too. I might even do that to them. I could always transform them. But yeah, I'm just going through here and using a little bit of every single color. Like you'll see me use the dark blue. They're not, not really the darker blue, the baby blue, the green, the purple, the peach, every single color in our spring fling gel pastel gel collection i'm using on the nail and always remember like when you're doing this kind of stuff too it always works best when you use the lightest color as your base coat if you're using if you use a dark color whether you're doing it with acrylic first or you're doing gel polish on top of the nail always make sure it's a light color that you're that's uh, like your base color it just works so much better it makes the colors on top that you're doing with the marbling show up so much better this is so fun to do. I love doing this because you can't mess it up. Like you really can't mess it up. And the brush that I'm using is like an old 
acrylic 3D uh, flower brush. It's not even for gel polish at all. Tell me how I could not find a gel brush anywhere. So I just grabbed this. I mean, it's, you're not really being precise. But see how when you add in like the darker colors, it gives you like those little bits of highlights. So try to remember to do that in places. Like you can always go back and add little bits like I'm doing here. And then you'll see at the end when I go through with the silver. But see how much that makes it like stand out. Especially since the other nails have started to bloom a lot more. Yeah, this is so nice. And it's so fun to do. Like that's the thing. This is so fun. This is something you could do on your clients. And like they would be in awe of their nails after. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Especially for spring. I cannot wait to wear these with like some nice ripped jeans, a cute pair of sandals, a white t-shirt, like just something casual, but super, super cute with, with these nails. It looks so good. A little jean jacket, crop jean jacket over top, you know, your hair in a cute little ponytail or curled or something like that. I'm all about like matching my nails to my outfits. You guys already know this. Or maybe you don't know this. <laughs> you probably don't know this. But yeah, I like to match my nails to my outfits. That's why it's kind of cool that I have like a bunch of press-ons made for myself now. Because I can't have acrylic nails all the time. Because I'm demoing all of these products. So my nails are just destroyed. Even just from like, you know, I always do the two layers of gel top coat on top of my natural nail. Before I do any acrylic nails for product demos for you guys. Because... I saw that I can just peel them off afterwards, obviously, but that's still, when you're doing it every single day, it, my nails are thin, they're damaged, I'm not even going to try and pretend like they're not. Okay, so here I am picking up that metallic silver from our 12-piece precision metallic gel set, and I'm just, I'm using a finer brush this time, like a, a liner brush, and I'm just same thing like dragging it through in the direction that I want it to go I'm keeping it kind of going in the same direction as the marbling is so that it accents it I just find that adding this number one our 12 piece metallic gel liner sets are is liner set is so awesome I love that those metallic liners oh my gosh they're so pigmented they're so sparkly like they're it's the best set it's so versatile you can use it for so much stuff doesn't that look so pretty when you put that through there wait until you see them at the end they looked really they turned out really really pretty but yeah and even like the the sparkly gel will start to to mar um bloom a little bit as well and it just it doesn't spread as much as the the regular gel polish i'm assuming it's because there's like glitter inside of it but it will bloom a little bit and it kind of just blends in with the other gel and oh, it just looks, it looks, it was stunning. Yeah, this is it right here. So here I am just moving on to the other side now. I'm going to pause this and speed it up. So now I'm just doing the same exact thing I did on this side. Same thing I did with the other side. Just marbling it. It looks so pretty. So pretty. Now I'm adding the silver. And you guys see, like, this is really that easy. You cannot mess this up. So nice. I think at this point, the sun was kind of shining in my studio in a weird way. And it was casting shadows on everything. So hopefully this shows up nice and bright for you guys. Now I'm just top coating it with our top it off. Crystal clear top coat that's running low. I need to open up a new bottle. Put a generous layer of top coat over top of this because, you know, it, it might be have a little bit of like bumps in it just because it is kind of chunky gel marbled. So by putting the top coat on, it smooths it out again. Oh, we also carry this too. These are the little kawaii flowers. Comes in a pack of six different colors with the little gold and silver beads to go in the centers of the flowers. You know that these are like the one of the most trending items this summer look at how aren't those gorgeous guys look at how beautiful these are just like that so pretty right that's what i'm saying if i painted them matte and put bling on top of them i think that would look so good too but for the purpose of this video i wanted to show you guys some of our products and show you what you can do with them 
And I feel like I'm always going back towards bling, bling, bling. <laughs> bling or kawaii. You guys know I'm obsessed. So yeah, now I'm just putting a couple little tiny flowers on the edges. Don't overdo it because you don't want to take away from your artwork that you just did. That's one of the things I learned from my instructor years ago who taught me how to do nails was don't cover up everything that you just spent all this time doing with bling and with you know, kawaii charms and stickers and foils and things like that, you know, let the nails kind of shine and just accent them with things. And that's a, a mistake I see a lot of beginners making. They just put on like, you know, obviously my nails are very extra, okay? There's nothing basic about the nails that I do. We all know this. But I still let the colors shine through, the design shine through. Yeah, I pack a ton of stuff on there, but I don't cover things up, if that makes sense to you. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just putting the little flowers in the corners, the top corners and the bottom corners to highlight the design. So I'm going to speed this up once again, because I'm sure you guys catch the drift of what I'm doing here. Yeah, so just putting action. I and I use Gorilla Glue. We all know this. You know, Gorilla Glue is my go-to for attaching kawaii charms, stones, big bling. I have a tutorial on that on YouTube about how I attach my stones, my big bling. My dog is whining in the background, you guys. He wants a T-R-E-A-T. -E I'm not even going to say the word because he knows what it means. He already got one. He doesn't need another one. So if that's what you hear, it's him. But yeah, so now I'm just putting those little tiny stones in the middle of those, not little tiny stones, those little tiny circles, those little metal circles. I think, what would you call those? Little, those little metal beads, little, little tiny metal beads that come with it. I'm putting those in the middle, which is a tedious job, okay? A tedious job. I got sidetracked though. Yes, I use Gorilla Glue to attach my stuff, but there's a certain way that I do it. So you've got to go back and watch that video. I'll link it below in the comment or link it below for you so that you can see like my technique. And I learned it from the guy who taught me how to do nails. And let me tell you, it's the best stuff to use. And it's no different than anything else. I mean, it's super glue is super glue, really. Whatever glue you're buying from expensive brands for stones, I mean, at the end of the day, it's super glue. Yeah, so now I decided that I'm going to add a couple little stones, crystals, just to accent it. At first, I thought I was going to use the AB crystals, but then I was like, wait a second. No, there's no, there's silver in this, so if I use the AB crystals, it's going to kind of clash with my metallic silver. So that's why I am putting the little crystals, and I think that looks so cute. You know, I can't let it set go without a little bit of bling. So here I'm just adding a little bit of stones, a little bit of bling to each of the nails. You can hear him whining in the background. I knew he was going to do this as soon as I started doing this voiceover. Welcome to real life. Yeah, speeding this up. But you can see in the same thing here, I'm not overdoing it with the stones. You see how I'm just placing like two or three on each nail? Just to give it a little bit of a sparkle and a little bit of glimmer. Look at how pretty that looks. I mean, they're simple. They're pretty simple for me. This isn't like normally I wouldn't do a set this simple because I'm like so over the top with it. But I just think that these are so pretty. They turned out so gorgeous for summer. Like I said, imagine being nice and tanned and having like a cute little summer dress on or a cute little summer outfit, like a little yellow dress or like a little denim outfit, anything. These nails would just look so pretty with it for the summertime. So yeah, just adding more stones here. Speed this up again. Did I already put the little beads in the centers of the flowers? Yes, I already did that. That is like so tedious. And oh my gosh, my room was so hot. Look at how pretty these are. Aren't these so stunning? Oh my goodness. My dog, you guys. Look at how beautiful. They're so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I love these. Aren't those so pretty? Yes. Those are gels are just, I mean, 
Look at those colors. The perfect palette. Here I have them in a cute little press-on box with our company sticker. Yep, and then I'm going to put them aside. Thanks for watching.